In the last installment it was said, There will be better times coming. But, before the storm clears, the worse is coming in a very innocent and slow pace of immorality. This will either keep you made aware, or place you further to sleep. You have the choice of which will serve you best. And what is it that serves us best to our own collective understanding in terms of what has been produced and then presented to us as a necessary device in which we have been conditioned to think and feel we are not able to do without? What has served the government? The effects of what has been given to us as a governed society, is implemented for the sake of better serving the government powers upon a global state of affairs. We are now entering the world of technology. Yes. That entity in which has become a religion within itself as well as a political device for the controlling the masses into a non-feeling and thinking cesspool of walking and living zombies, by choice. Considering the genius of the religious and the political scientist, as well as in harmony with the social scientist, they have created a technical social order that makes being unconsciously asleep a vital part of escape and entertainment. There has been insidiously constructed by way of modern technology, an insatiable appetite inside the human family that was designed to never be fulfilled into satisfaction. It serves as another reality of which most this day would rather exist inside, than the truths of what we must face every day. Lust, greed, anxiety, pleasure and entertainment is technologically imbued in harmony with these natural human instincts and then enlivened for the sake of controlling the minds of the masses who through the centuries have been conditioned to receive this morally crushing adversary. This has created another form of addicts that is not in this sense, an illegality. We have been conditioned to want more of what is causing us to become less human and more mechanical including in our actions and therefore our emotions which are being processed to be made wax cold creating harsh, cruel and callous human beings as the walking dead. This affects our relationship with one another in a manner that is not evolutionary, but one of a relationship that has been made to be synthetic, dangerous and fraudulent and wearing a smile asserting to posses a subtle state of humanity as this gives grounds for further times of self-destruction. The true touch of humanity and therefore, human relationship is most needed again this day and time if we are to ever survive in continuing to know of what true humanity entails for the sake of human relationship in this society which is slowly deteriorating morally, but expanding technical logically. The demonstrated affection and care of our elders have been forgotten within time with this moderation of technology that is convenient, but morally destructive to our sense of sensitivity. We are finding that with this allowed condition upon the human family, the governed are made more easier to control and therefore to utilize the device and weapon of fear and hopelessness to manipulate the masses into what only serves them commonly, but serves the government powers more so objectively. Know of what serves your journey in totality, not of what serves someone else inevitably. Written by David Anthony Braboy.